An Adobe Audition user asked about recording audiobooks in Adobe Audition and then exporting with the chapters marked. Another person followed up on that comment saying that they take each chapter and cut it and put it on a separate track, which is overkill. This is the right way to do audiobooks out of Adobe Audition. So let's say we have a single audio narration track. I'm going to show you how to do it with multi-track very shortly, but let's start with the simpler method. You've got a single narration track, or maybe it's already the mix down from your multi-track session. What you want to do is highlight the area of each chapter. So I'm going to highlight to here. Let's say this is chapter one in my audio book. And obviously this is not an actual audiobook narration. You can see the gaps here. This is actually one half of an interview. The audiobook projects I've been working on, I can't show you because I'm under NDA on them. I'm not allowed to show the work product. But this interview, I can. So let's pretend this interview is an audiobook narration. We've got a single speaker or we've got a mix down. Highlight in audition the first chapter. Then go to your markers panel. And if you don't see it on screen, you can go to the window menu and then down to markers to show it. So you go to your markers panel and you click on this button here to add a cue marker. Now with a range selected, the cue marker is going to have a start and an end time, which is going to give you a total duration. So in this case, it's a minute and five seconds with a little bit left over. Then double click on the name here to give it a new name. Call that chapter one. Then highlight from there to the end of your next chapter. Maybe we go to here. Or maybe let's do three chapters in this demo. So I'll go to here and then I can click on the add new cue marker or I can press the M key as in Mary on my keyboard and that creates a new marker without me having to click the button. Then I'll press the forward slash key on my keyboard to edit the marker title. So M to create a marker, forward slash to edit the title of that marker, or at any time, any selected marker. So now I'll type in chapter two, and then I'll select my chapter three. M forward slash type chapter three, and then my mouse never moved. So now I've got chapters one, two, and three. I've got my book marked out into individual chapters. Audiobooks actually need to be separate files for each chapter. That's how it works. That's how they, it, this is especially important because you have to think that most audiobooks are transmitted over Wi-Fi or cellular data. You don't want a giant file trying to move through the ether and the user being unable to listen to anything until the entire audiobook is downloaded. By breaking it into multiple chapters, individual MP3 files for each chapter or section, if your book is more sectional than chapter, then as chapter two is downloading, your user is already listening to chapter one. This also allows for better storage management on different devices. So we want separate files. We don't just want one solid wave or MP3 file with a bunch of markers in it. But by creating these markers, Audition makes it super simple for us to get individual files out of this. So what you do is you go back to your markers panel, highlight all of your markers. So however many chapters yours has, my demo is just three. I've done this with 50 chapter audiobooks with no trouble. And then you go to this button right here at the top of the markers panel. Export audio of selected markers to separate files. I know the little tooltip doesn't completely fit in my zoom here, but that's what it says. So you click on that. Now you get this export range markers and you choose where it's going. So we can choose use marker names and file names. Yes. Prefix. This would be the name of your book or your ISBN number. So I'm just going to say nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever. And then you can, you can add a post fix if you want a suffix, which is the more correct term. And then here's what the, the file names will look like. 
and then you choose where they're going. So I'm going to just put this on my desktop under audio demos and under format. I don't want waves because this is going to audible or whatever audiobook store. So I want MP3. So I'll pull the format down, go down to MP3 audio, and then I need to choose my sampling and my format settings. So in this case, I'm going to change this from 48 uh, kilohertz or 48,000 hertz down to 44. Click OK. And then my format, 192 kilobytes per second. Perfect. Hit export. And then I will have three separate MP3 files, one for each chapter. That's how you get multiple chapters for an audiobook out of Audition. The only other step, the only other possible wrinkle in this is if you have a multi-track session, because it's pretty common, it, in fact, it's most common to not have a single narration track. Most of the time, audiobooks are too long to record all in one session. So typically you have multiple input narration tracks and you arrange them on a multi-track session. You may also have sound effects. You may have uh, multiple narrators. If you're doing a, a radio show type of performance, or maybe you've got uh, just two or three different narrators, you have sound effects. You may have a music bed over parts of it. You may have some other audio going on. So I just created a, a quickie little multi-track session here. The only thing that's actually here is this one audio track. But if I had multiple tracks and then pickups, of course, and multiple input uh, narration tracks, the first thing you would do is go to File, Export, Multitrack Mixdown Entire Session. That'll give you one WAV file, which you can then open an audition. And in fact, it will open automatically after the mixdown process. And then go into the markers panel and export each one as an individual chapter, as an individual MP3. You can add your markers in multitrack mode. They will get added to the WAV file in the mixdown. And then when you open that wave file, that mix down, you'll have those markers in the markers panel. And that's how you create multi-chapter audiobooks out of Adobe Audition. I'm Pariah Burke, an Adobe community expert, author, and educator. And you can find me helping out in the Adobe community on the Adobe Audition forums, as well as the InDesign, Illustrator, Acrobat, and a whole bunch of other forums, because I do a lot with Adobe software.